What's up guys? I'm doing a review on the Wendy's Krabby Patty. Is this a scam? Is it actually good? Let's just find out. The one thing I'm really curious is how this burger looks. Yeah, as you can see, it just looks like a Wendy's burger. Also to the bag, there's like no theme to it. If this was like the early 2000s, we would have like the crusty, crusty crab on it, like a SpongeBob theme. Nope, just the plain Wendy's bag and the wrapper also is just plain Wendy's. So pretty trash already starting out. We're gonna give this already a two over 10 because you know, there's just no themes anymore. It's just boring. Let's look under the hood of this thing. There you go, we got Plankton's Wet Dream. <laughs> I'm usually a uh, chicken, rice, and steak type of guy. This probably isn't the best meal. This is my first meal of the day for lunch. So yeah, it's gonna probably make me feel like ass, but whatever. Also too, the cheese. Uh, look at this too. Before I get into the cheese, there's no sesame seeds. There's no purple onions. This is already a red flag. This is terrible. We're gonna go from a two over 10 to like now a one over 10. Maybe this can go to a 1.5. I haven't even ate the burger yet, I'm still talking. What makes this even worse is there was no vanilla Frosty, so I couldn't get the under the sea Frosty. So the dude was just like, yo, you want a chocolate Frosty? I'm like, whatever. Fries. If I can get the fries out, hang on one second. It's just Wendy's fries and there's no theme. <laughs> there's a lot of salt on these fries. <laughs> Should get like some plankton fries or something. Yeah, just Wendy fries. So far, a one out of 10. Let's finally try the burger. I need to cut my beard. Terrible. We are now at a 0.5 over 10. What I was saying about the cheese was the cheese would be folded and be folded up like a blanket if this was actually the Krabby Patty burger. Give it one more bite. One more bite, shall we? Terrible. I hate eating this. My first meal of the day. I'm sure my toilet is going to love this. But yeah, this is definitely a scam. Mr. Krabs would be so happy about this being a scam. That's pretty much it. There's nothing good about this, but I will say it's pretty reasonable. You want to get a quick $10 lunch, you can get a burger, a frosty. And a good amount of fries for 10 bucks so you can't beat that but yeah guys 0.5 out of 10 <laughs> that's even possible my it's like falling apart too like i'm not trying to be mean but the guy who took my order just honestly looked high as hell like i couldn't even understand what he was saying but just my burger is like falling apart <laughs> if you guys can see this is awful Like, it's getting to a point where I have to start eating the burger from the back. Yeah, I'm eating it from the back. And that's what she says. Because it's like falling apart. <laughs> Look at this thing. So, my final review, guys. A 1 out of 10. I'll bump it up from a 0.5 to a 1. I got to go walk some dogs. I was actually doing some dog walking appointments. And I was like, you know what? It'd be a perfect day to try the Krabby Patty Burger. But I have to go walk some more because my stomach is killing me. But I will say, what I just ate was terrible. And like I said, I usually don't eat that kind of food anymore. Like, I remember I used to eat Wendy's and McDonald's all the time. I told you guys I'm more of like a... I've gotten a lot better with my eating. Like chicken, rice, potatoes, steak. 
I don't try, I try to stay away from this garbage now, but man, I need to get off my ass and go do something because I feel like I'm about to explode any second, but you can never go wrong with a chocolate frosty, whatever that was that I just ate was horrible. My burger was falling apart. And the worst thing about it was I didn't get a toy. You know, back remember back in the day in the 2000s, you would, you know, get one of these meals from McDonald's and um, it would come with a toy. No, not this. Everything's boring anymore. Food sucks. Video games suck. Everything sucks. Music sucks. <laughs> I'm trying to stay positive, but it's like true. Um, like this boring ass bag. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm, this chocolate frosty is keeping me going. I haven't had a frosty in a long time. Been a little bit since I had this type of food. But I have to go to two more dog walking appointments. It's going to take me a little bit. Um, a little bit more than that to burn off these calories I just ate. But hey, you got to enjoy yourself once in the blue moon. But yeah, my review, I'll end this video. Um, I'll give it a 1 out of 10. I'll bump it up from a 0.5. No sesame seeds on the bun. No purple onions. The burger was falling apart, like I said, which I don't have a problem with. The guy that took my order just seemed high as hell. Um, I really couldn't understand what he was saying. I, I assume he's the one that made the burger because my tomatoes were just tomato the tomato just wasn't even on the burger it just fell all, all over my pants at this point but yeah uh, not a good review um i honestly do wish that burger was a lot better but like i said i'm gonna go walk these calories off and try to feel better because i'm telling you when you eat good like healthy for a good amount of time and then you come back to eating something like this you're like <laughs> it's just fucking awful but it's chocolate frosty, man. Chocolate frosty. You can't go frosties, man. Ten out of ten. Also, too, do you guys, when you're like going to get like I don't know McDonald's, Wendy's, is the ice cream machines always down or is it just me? Like the ice cream machines are constantly always down and it frustrates the living shit out of me. It's like, what are you doing to where the ice cream machines are broken? <laughs> like, are you throwing them across the store? So. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll stop complaining, but just wanted to give my honest review till next time. Don't get this. Save your bellies. Have a great one. See ya.